Task 9 is the uh, vertical mattress interrupted suturing exercise. And as you can see, we have the FLS model, but we have two sets of uh, target marks uh, on each side of the model separated between the gap. So we will place our model using the Velcro. We will load our needle correctly, again using the tapered needle uh, th on 3L polysorb cut to 30 centimeters. Um, we will then use our forceps. We'll start the timer at this junction, uh, at this juncture with uh, the needle driver and the forceps as shown. We will then first take our far bite on the right hand side. We will then exit on the opposite side taking again our far bite in a forehand fashion. We will pull through using our needle driver. We will now have our needle driver and our forceps both uh, on the needle controlling it but again note that I don't have the needle driver uh, clicked and locked. Instead I'll leave it uh, mobile so that I can turn from this forehand configuration into a backhand configuration uh, as shown here. The needle can be further adjusted um, with the forceps as needed. We'll pull through a little bit of an extra uh, suture uh, as shown with a short tail. We will then in a backhand direction uh, go through the model uh, with the near suture targets, retrieve our needle, set down our forceps, and tie using a surgeon's knot, crossing our hands, crossing the tail again, and crossing the tail again. And we have thus completed uh, the exercise. We will score it uh, as done for the other task, looking for accuracy uh, errors uh, along these uh, targets for the needle placement. We'll also look at any gaps in the Penrose drain. And then finally, uh, we will look at uh, knot security by slipping our scissors within the suture strand uh, and breaking it as shown here with the knot completely left intact, the tails left the same length, and the suture strand disrupting, indicating that we had uh, truly square knots. We'll show some pitfalls of this procedure, similar to the horizontal mattress, uh, and even to the simple interrupted. Uh, there are a few tricks where you might grab the model in the back, as shown here, and one bite your way through. Although this may not be as reliable for accuracy, it's probably more reliable to grab each side of the model and to come through as shown here. Again, don't close your needle driver all the way, but simply control your needle um, and rotate with this configuration, with this move uh, to obtain a backhand. Pull through um, your suture strand. And again, probably not the wisest choice to grab back here, but rather to grab right on the edge of the target on each side of the model as you hold your needle relatively steady. Bring it through, set your pickups down, and then throw your surgeon's knot, followed by two squares. Also note that I'm throwing knots way down here. I'm not doing big movements way out here, but rather straight down uh, next to the knot is much more efficient uh, in that fashion.